you know, at what point in your life and your career did you feel that your life had really started to change? And I mean, in every respect, your your profile, you being recognised on the street, financially. Was there one special or one moment where you really felt things had changed forever? No, I, I don't think it happens like that. I mean, well, for some people it does. Um, Michael's plan as a manager, which I think was very wise, was a kind of slow burn thing. So I never really splashed onto the scene. I, you know, I kind of yeah, started off the first couple of years. We're kind of under a bit under the radar with the mind control specials, and then so by, you know, by the time there was a a big um, show like Russian Roulette, I'd sort of had a, a you know a bedrock of sort of support and so on. And so it, it's a gradual thing, and I think you never the thing with being successful is that, and the reason why you should never aim for it as a it should never be your goal. Is that it never really it never really arrives? There's never a moment where you go, ah, oh, brilliant! So now I've, uh, I'm successful, or now I'm I'm rich, or whatever those things are. They can only ever be byproducts, because they don't. Apart from some cases, they don't they don't announce themselves. They just sort of, uh, you know, because you can always be more successful. You can always be more rich. You just you know you're just in whatever you are at the moment. And if your aim is to have those things, you're you're only ever neurotically pushing forward to something that will never quite arrive. So you can only really do what you do and and uh, love it for what it is and let those other things come so so there was there was no moment i mean i i've sort of had little moments of well i can't quite believe i'm here doing this sometimes speaking to uh when I, mean, I first met stephen fry who i was a huge fan of and really you know grown up with um adoring and then he really liked my work and uh, ricky gervais was another one and and um those moments you kind of go, oh God, that's so bizarre that someone I admire also admires me. So there are moments like that when you think, wow, something, this must have all fallen into place quite well. But but it's it's such a kind of ethereal thing. And uh, unless you happen to be suddenly thrust into it, which I don't think is very healthy, then I don't know, it just sort of slowly kind of creeps up and... And you don't really feel any different. You don't feel... I mean, su- success and reputation, those are things that other people decide about you, aren't they? Your reputation, it, 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 come, it comes or goes or lives or dies in the perceptions of other people. It's not actually a thing that you have. So the experience of being well-known, whatever, isn't really any different than not being well-known. You're still just you looking out. It's just how you manage other people's expectations or manage the issues that come from it that are, that are important. That was an amazing answer, by the way. Sorry, oh, I, 